Vegetables. They're good for you, but they taste like crap. Meat. It's delicious. But those poor animals. We bring you the best of both worlds. Why moo when you can VegiQ. Mr. Chairman, what truly sets VegiQ apart is that our all-vegetable meat substitute actually tastes like meat. VegiQ is chomped into the American meat market. Observe this mouth-watering climb in revenue. Q3 was an absolutely scrumptious quarter. Now, all we need is your investment to bring VegiQ to the masses. Snowball, I admit there's a time when I'd have seen you all as nothing more than a four course. But after seeing your numbers and tasting your product, all I can say is, why move when you can VegiQ? We are tripling our investment and tripling your CEO salary. <laughs> Deliciousness and decadence. Uh, everyone, please join Miss Bunny for a VegiQ feast. <laughs> Are you all right? I'm so tired of Snowball's grandstanding. Always taking all the credit. Where would he be without us workers? I'm sorry, were you saying something? We've got barbecue. Squealer, what is it that binds us animals together? What, what is it that matters most to us? Romance. No, no. Little sister, listen to me. What binds us is unity. We are a flock, a herd, a pride. And we should be proud of our equality. Like penguins that huddle together for warmth. Like the baboons that groom one another, void of hierarchy. Like our own mother, who fed us as piglets in equal measure. It is the group, not the individual, that makes us strong. Fairness, not favoritism. Do you understand? Uh, well, this bacon is the stuff that dreams are made of. With the organization of animal equality, we can bring fairness back to VeggieQ. We'll move as one. We'll be a pack again. This can be our protected nest. This is how we survive. This is how we thrive. Hey, just as this box of meat is an illusion, so is the idea that Snowball deserves more power and money than the rest of us. We are creatures of dignity, Squealer. We need only demand to be treated as such. Are you going to eat that? Quadruple your order. So, <laughs> got it. <laughs> hey, and congrats on the new grandkid. Did you uh, get the Armani pacifier? <laughs> Mute button. <laughs> Good one. Oh, <laughs> uh, no, I love buying for humans. Yeah, in my family, it's nine gifts a pop. <laughs> yeah, well, mazel tov. Uh huh. All right. Ciao for now. Another day served with veggie pate. What can I do for my lovely workers? We're not your workers. Just a figure of speech. You're going hog wild. Looks like a pig working and relaxing to me. Listen, Snowball, I'm gonna make this quick because our time is as important as yours. 
we at Oink want to see some changes. Oink, you'll agree to adhere to the following edicts. All animals are equal. All animals deserve equal pay. All animals deserve equal say. Refuse, and we walk away like ducks in a row, and you'll have no more lovely workers. Are you on board with this? Yes. Snowball, I think it's only fair. Listen, everyone, I really do value you. All of you. Yes, I have more decision-making power, but these decisions are tough, and our very fates hang in the balance. My additional compensation, it motivates me to ponder every ingredient of this company until I found the perfect concoction. It's true, our system is not entirely equal, but without it, there wouldn't be any vegicue. I pity you, Snowball, like a shark wandering the ocean floor, all alone. Maybe, but without my vision, we'd all be boozing away our sorrows in one of Lovin' Oven's slaughterhouses this very moment. It's your choice, Snowball. Being equal among our flock, or a veggie will be your ocean floor. Okay, Napoleon, you win. We all get paid equally. I will still make final decisions, but I will consult regularly with Snort. Oink. Right. Do we have a deal? Let's not forget about Veggie Q. With buzzwords like oink and flock decision making, their shares are in free fall. And it might be time to put this company out to pasture. That's right, Ferdinand. It's time to fill my belly with anything but Veggie Q. Send this one to hibernation. I've already seen it, but thank you for the chance to catch the details I missed the first time. Look, Snowball. We supported this equal pay concept because we trusted you could make it work. And it is. Everybody's... Everybody is leaving at 5 o'clock but you. Why would your management stay later when they're paid the same? And this new flock decision-making process... Has some growing pains, yes. Guys. Guys. Come on. Even a luscious squash needs time to mature. Time is something this company is running out of. You're right. I know. VegiQ has lost something worse than its stock price and its flavor. It's lost its vision. A company needs a vision, Snowball, not many visions. Hmm. I'm sorry, Snowball. We're going out for barbecue. Real barbecue. I hope you find the ingredients this concoction needs. I hate to think of next Thanksgiving, carving my ham and wondering if it's you. <laughs> If I keep going with this, I'll end up in the chairman's mouth. Your new package designs give me trichinosis. They aren't mine. We came up with them. Well, there isn't going to be a we much longer. What do you mean? He means that he's leaving. Isn't that right, Snowball? He realizes he doesn't fit in here anymore. He isn't a team player. 
he realizes without him, this company would have a unified vision. Isn't that right, Snowball? For once, Napoleon, you're right. I resign. Snowball, no. I'm gonna miss this place. But I'll miss you most of all. Are we really going to let him leave? He founded this company. He knows how to work with the board. His business sense made this company what it is. And kept us where we were. Marginalized, subordinate, undervalued. Now we can truly operate with full equality. But if you really want to, you can join him out there alone. Or stay here, safe with your flock. We've got a lot of work to do. dire straits since Snowball left us everything is going downhill. Sales are down. Investors are pulling out. I just got this email from a customer. Deroink, did you recently start making your products out of rhino anuses? I did a blind taste test between oink chunks and some sludge I scraped off the bottom of my trash can. To your credit, I can't say oink chunks were worse. It's just that I couldn't tell the difference. <laughs> Napoleon, we need drastic action. How about layoffs? <gasps> I mean, I know some of us might have to take jobs at the Love and Oven, but the rest of us, we could be equal here at Oink and still stay in business. I'll tell you what, I had a cousin who filed papers for Love and Oven. <laughs> Maybe he didn't have any fingers, but he was the best chicken paper filer you ever did see. And one day, gone, poof, poor white with two sides. He's right. This company is the only one where us animals have ever had a real future. And all the others, it's the same. One minute, you're working in packaging, and the next minute, you're packaged! Oh. Yes. Oh, oh, yes. Yes. Oh, We're on the side! We're on the side! Step up, bird! Huh? We need ideas. Big ideas. We're not limited to one mind. We have a team of minds. Now, major, epic, huge, flashy, head turning, all new product. Go. Gluten-free tofu ice cream. Hot, Cheeto-flavored, gluten-free tofu ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> All ideas are of equal merit. Oh, hey, Aaron, it's five o'clock. Wait, you're leaving too, big brother? It's five o'clock. This oink stock is one red cape you don't want to chase. I know, I mean, who knew that uh, hot Cheeto flavored gluten-free tofu ice cream would fail? <laughs> That's it, oink is officially bankrupt, busted, broke.
scared, Big Brother. What if Ted and Sanders were right? Listen, we ran Oink like a true flock, and Love and Oven will see the value in that. They'll welcome us, give us great jobs. Let's all walk in there together like the herd we are. Napoleon, this isn't accounting or fulfillment or maintenance. This is, you know what this is. What good is herd pride if we are all gone tomorrow? Snowball. I would make that day last for all time and fill my night deep with moon shine. Snowball, you came in here on purpose. You you let the gate just close behind you. It's just a latch, Squealer. Simple. It's miraculous. Snowball Napoleon, come on, let's get out of here. What for? What do you mean? So we can start all over. It's too late. There's nothing out there for us, Squealer. These cages will follow us. Our days will be numbered all the same. I can't believe this is you saying that, Snowball. No spark in your eye? Devoid of hope. Where's the pig I... I fell in love with? Here. Take some whiskey. It contains no animal products. How did this happen? Napoleon's heart was in the right place. My heart was in the right place. Run away, Squealer. As far and as fast as you can, I'll take your place in the pen. The butcher will never know the difference. He's right. Forget all about my herd babble. Squealer, just go. Now! Myself. It might mean I have little time left. But what I have, I want to spend with you. And I with you. 